Joshua Shaw. I restore antique race cars and I do a lot of work for Secura's Garage in Cincinnati, Ohio. Wow, that's vision. Today, I'm working on the 1933 Emmanuel Pleasure Car. It was a V16 supercharged all-wheel drive road car. What I'm doing is I'm cutting parts out exactly off the original blueprints drawn in 1932. We're using the Cutmaster 42 to cut out certain braces in the frame and weld them in and reproduce this car exactly the way it was in 1933. That was like 10 times faster than I go with that old pack unit. That's excellent. That's awesome. I just cut these out with the Cutmaster 42, and I'm really happy with the way it performed. Um, certain things I look for is how smooth the cut is, the grain along here, uh, how much buildup it had on the bottom side, which you can see here, this is another machine that left a ton of slag on here. This has to be beaten off with a hammer. This piece I just cut is very clean. Uh, this is going to take a minimal of cleaning and prepping. If I'm cutting along and that cutter is dancing around and it's changing lines and it's moving around, that's all stuff I got to fix later. I got to sand those out. I got to put it on a huge belt sander. I got to work those out. And a lot of times what happens is by the time I've worked out the imperfections, I've made the part smaller than what I need. This is stuff that has to be pretty exact. So when you get a nice straight cut along there that doesn't move around, that is magic to me. That's gonna save me time, it's gonna save me work, and it makes my work look that much better. The speed at which I can move the gun was really impressive. Uh, I've used machines before where you have to just go really long, slow, and work your way through the metal. I don't think I ever move too fast for this machine, which when I'm cutting 14, 16 of these, that is important to me. I got pretty detailed with it, decided to write thermal dynamics out and draw a flame out. This tells me a lot too. This tells me how thin this cut is, is helps me out because I'm not, I'm cutting directly where I need to be. I'm not on left or to, left or the right of the line. I'm not eating the whole line up. I'm cutting right where I need to cut. And uh, it was really controllable. The way the trigger works, great. And the machine's small. Everything was good about it. I plasma cut a lot of little brackets out. Uh, unfortunately, not everything we do is 90 degree angles where I can just have a bunch of triangles made. I get stuff like this that's oddball. If you look at that, it's not even an equal sided shape. It has a lean to it because the frame rail comes at an angle and this goes over at an angle. So even this isn't symmetrical. So you get a lot of instances where I gotta cut custom shapes. And without a doubt, the uh, Cutmaster 42 is definitely a machine I'll use a lot. Can't wait to use this thing some more.